video cut off. Y'all know iPhone is storage. I had to go delete the whole phone to finish this. Anyway, back to what I was saying. All right, so I don't really suggest bringing somebody back to your hotel um, unless you vet them. Like I say, man, spend the, spend the night. Not spend the night. Mm -hmm. Spend some time with them. Okay, so this is what I did. A lot of these girls down there, they hustling. They trying to get their money. So whether it's by robbing you or doing it the right way. So if you are going to bring somebody back, hide all your stuff. Now, I suggest getting going to like a local gun store and getting one of those cases that you can put firearms to travel in because you can't really get it in things point blank period so get one of those they like 30 bucks lock your passport and stuff up and put that in the safe or put it under the bed put it under the mattress if you got to hide all your things if you're gonna bring a guest back long story short but you got like places like hostels and little hotels down in certain areas where you can you know do your thing for an hour or whatever but back to the story of my night all right so I met a chick. I spent my first night down there after we got into the hotel. Pretty much just kind of enjoying the night and people in the scenery, just kind of people in the vibe, going to some spots, doing my thing. Didn't take anybody back that night because I'm like, eh, I don't really want to. But I did meet a couple of chicks. One of the chicks I met, like, she was giving me choosing signals so hard. I was like, bro, like, she was on my line for real. And she was attractive to me. So I'm like, hmm. Came, started talking, spoke a little English, which was another thing that was good. She was uh, from Venezuela. Pretty girl. But anyway, we exchanged info, and uh, I went back to my hotel. I got back to the room like 2 in the morning. I laid down. My homeboy, he took some back, and it didn't work out for him. But that would be in a whole other video. All right, so next day, she hit me up. Like, hey, you know, hola, como esta? I'm like, shit, what's happening? So we ended up meeting up that night about 10. And what I did, man, we just hung out. We hung out. Now, I knew what it was the whole time. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to get to the point in a little bit with her and see how much this going to cost me for the evening. All right. But we just hung out, man. We went. She was trying to teach me salsa. We went and had some drinks. We just walking around Cartagena, walking, seeing the scenery, people in the views. She was all on me. But I'm like, all right. Yeah, she liked me. We was feeling each other. But I knew what it was. We get to the bar. Night wrapping up. It's like 2 in the morning. And I'm like, all right. So we hitting the Google Translator a little bit. I'm like. What's this going to be? She was like, Poppy, let's not worry about it right now. Let's just, I mean, I like you. I'm enjoying my time. You funny. We we doing our thing. So let's just, let's do that. And in my mind, I'm like, hmm, this could be that setup. This could be one of them in the morning. So I'm like, yes, I need a thousand. I'm going to be like, shit, man, I ain't got it. I got a cool hundred for you. All right, so I had did a little research with people that I know that have gone down there. And they was like, pretty much a night going to run you like 200, 250 USD. I'm like, that's a lot. I don't know if I won't pay that. That's a lot. Long story short, man, we get back to the room. Uh, the women down there, man, they just, they submissive. They take care of you, man. It's going to spoil you if you go. I'm not going to lie. Following morning. So I've got the night. We didn't, man, we passed out. But that's a whole nother. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, if I'm paying, boy, well, you don't know who you coming back with. I'm finna get my buddy's worth. All right. So. After about 15 sets of 10, I'm just joking. Next morning, it was time to send her back to where she was going, where she had to go. She was trying to stay. I'm like, hey, I know you got some kids or some washing to go do. Like, send her back to her spot. Now, most of these girls come from villages and other little places. That they're not really from Cartagena. Uber. Use Uber. Them cabs going to try to get you. Uber is cheap as hell. I sent this girl, she pulled up her address. It said 41 miles. I'm like, oh my God, it's finna be $80. You know, in America, but a 40 mile Uber ride, pff, seven bucks. It was eight. 821. That was the total, I believe. I even tipped him. I said, go around that thing off the 15. So it all worked out for me to the point where she had, I had to come back the next night. And um, yeah, we just kind of did our thing. I didn't want to take the risk of going back out and taking another chance. So. Um, but yeah, man, Cartagena is, it's a cool little spot to go to, man. Also, food is pretty good. It's reasonably priced. I think, man, spending money wise, about 500 between five, seven should, you know, get you in the game. Don't take none. You don't need no Rolexes. You don't need all that jewelry and all that stuff. You American, your skin says enough. Your voice is going to do enough. All right. Is it dangerous? Of course. If you grew up watching them damn movies from Colombia and South America in the 80s, them gangster films, you know, they do all that shooting off the back of them damn motos. But I ain't gonna lie, that first couple of days, that day, first day I was down there, but every motorcycle passed me, I was like, boy, head on a swivel. Man, listen, don't rent no cars, don't be trying to do none of that. 
you ain't got enough time to learn how them traffic laws go and how they drive and stuff, you will wreck. Trust me.